Hey everyone, remember the fun of playing GameCube and Wii games? The GameCube and Wii were Nintendo's sixth generation gaming systems, known for their best features and unique game collections. Unfortunately, both consoles are no longer in production. The good news is that the Dolphin emulator lets you experience those classics again on your Android phone. Just remember to use games you legally own and have permission to use on an emulator. I personally played and enjoyed Super Mario Galaxy Legend of Zelda. Skyward Sword Resident Evil 4, Metroid Prime, Trilogy, Okami, and numerous other games. In this video, we'll cover how to install the Dolphin emulator configuration and best settings, how to add games and game compatibility at the last gameplay, and enjoy the best GameCube and Wii emulator on your phone. Please like and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button to stay updated. What's up guys? This is Pro Warriors. Before we dive in, let me introduce Dolphin, a free emulator first released in 2003 for Windows. After some success, it expanded to Android. Dolphin is an emulator for two recent Nintendo video game consoles, the GameCube and the Wii. It allows your Android gamers to enjoy games for these two consoles in full HD 1080p with several enhancements, compatibility with all controllers, turbo speed networked multiplayer, and even more. The Android version of Dolphin can run thousands of games on your phone and doesn't require a powerful device to enjoy GameCube and Wii games anywhere, anytime. Let's get started. First, download the Dolphin app. It's available on the Google Play Store. Search for Dolphin Emulator, which has high ratings and millions of downloads. For your kind information, Dolphin also has two additional Android variant on their GitHub page. Some users find these variant better than the original one. It's a small app, so it installs quickly. Once downloaded, open it up. You'll see an empty game library since this is your first time launching the app. Before adding games, let's customize and configure the settings. Click on the gear icon in the top bar, then tap config. In general, ensure dual core is enabled. Enable cheats and usage statistics reporting. Set the speed limit to 200% for maximum performance and enable the save states option to auto save your game states. This feature is for future update. In the interface option, set the screen orientation, expand the cutout area, choose a theme, and adjust other settings. Leave the audio settings at default. In the path option, enable search subfolders for games to automatically detect games. Tap on advanced to explore more options. Try these, but be aware they might cause crashes. Near the bottom of the menu, tap on override emulated CPU clock speed. Enable emulated memory size to adjust RAM usage automatically. A checked box means the feature is enabled. Return to the main settings menu, then tap graphic settings. Here, set your preferred video backend and enable compiler shaders before starting. Tap on statistics, then show FPS and show speed. Return to the main screen. Now, let's add games to Dolphin. Click Add Games in the bottom left corner to open your phone's file manager. Please create a new folder, name it Dolphin Games, and paste your games into it. Dolphin can run both Nintendo GameCube and Wii games. Dolphin has released a game compatibility list on their website. Check the compatibility list to ensure your game is playable. Make sure your games are in supported formats like ISO, GCM, or NRG. Make sure you have legally owned GameCube or Wii games. Click Use this folder to allow Dolphin access. You'll see all the games listed, ready to enjoy on your Android phone, whether they're from GameCube or Wii. While playing, you can pause the game, take a screenshot, change the overlay, customize the control keypad, and even connect a Wii remote. The emulator turns your phone into a console and runs smoothly. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe, and join our Discord server for more. Take care.